numbers do have that million followers, but for me, at yeah. like 100K, it's I fun. know who's commenting on my posts, yeah. and I make sure that I try to support them as much because it's I want to like they are my true like Sabrina, you are always on my posts, and I love it. And we have like a personal connection. I know that it's real, and that she's like my cheerleader, and I'm the same with her. Like, she's the show up on my homepage. I will literally go to her page to see what I missed. Yeah. So companies will do the same thing. And especially companies you love. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I, even even with my business, like when there like you, there's so many like likes, you get kind of it's like yes. a sea of likes, and then when I see that someone commented, that catches my eye right. like first, kind especially a long comment. <laughs> like, yeah. Really like, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. What do you well, think about with the stories? I've noticed that then I get more views from my stories than I have my posts. So what's the difference? So I feel like stories is where you give people a glimpse of who you are, mm -hmm. and people love that. And then your posts are where your portfolio should be. Right. So I'm kind of t I'm trying to be better at doing stories because I'll get like four or five thousand views on a story. Yeah. So that is a great place, and not as many people are using them. Where posts are being like inundated daily by so many people. And the other thing I always tell people is, if you're gonna post a good hair picture, so is everybody else. We, we, those are there. They've been there. They've done that. So we've got to do something else. So for me, it's video. Um, but also, what people love in hair stories is behind the scenes. So like, you show up to a wedding venue, you show the beautiful venue, the bride, the before, the after, what kind of food they gave you. It's almost like a more of like a blogger feel. Mm -hmm. And then I usually tell people to try to keep it less than like 13 to 12 stories. Because when you click on someone's story and you see like 50, you're just like quick, 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 quick. Because mm -hmm. you don't actually want to like watch everything and sees like a lot. Right. You know what I mean? You want to like get through them and then go to the next. That's a good question. Um, the last little bullet here um, that I just wanted to share with you guys. Once I get up, oh, and this is the other thing I did that I would encourage you guys to do. As you're growing your business, and you hit big milestones, reach back out to the companies that you have contracts with and ask them for more money. Um, I did that literally at 10K, 20K, 50K, 70K, 100K. And I did it with really good reasons why I felt like I should earn more money. Um, I would not be making $1,500 a month from the same company that I was making $200 a month from about 16 months ago, had I not gone back to the company and said, hey, this is what I've created. I'm like the top person under your hashtag. You guys have reposted me this many times. Um, I would love to see what you could offer me now that I hit 100K. And then they came back and said, well, I'll be 1,500 a month. So I would say, again, to echo Danielle, you don't ask. I mean, the worst thing they can say is no. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, not yet. And then I'll say, okay. That's fine, what do I need to do to get there? Right. You know? Okay, that's my super secret slide that I just added. I love that. Who did you reach out to? Is it your contact at the company when you so, said, yes. and how did you say it? How did you say, I need so, more money? Or um, Basically, do you want to hear how I said it? Yeah. I would be more than happy to I do. do you, are you guys, I don't want to jump okay, the gun here. Yeah. I can tell you. So obviously when it first started, when I first asked for more money, I did it over the phone. This time, I've now asked this company for more money a lot of times. And I said, good evening, and then to my contact, I'm writing you with so much excitement tonight. Last week, I finally hit 100,000 followers. I know that the last time we talked, you mentioned that our contract renegotiates at 100K, so I wanted to reach out to you and share the good news. As you know, I absolutely love working with you and love creating lots of colorful content for your team. I know that the last time we talked, uh, let's see, where did it go? for your team. Um, I have to send you a little sneak peek of my most recent video. You will love seeing the insights. As always, thank you for all your support you've shown me over the last couple years. Here's what the excitement's about. And then I literally put my insights in there. I had 21,000 people save it and went out to 1.2 million people. Mm -hmm. I had 1,700 new followers because of that one video. And then I posted like three more that I sent, and right away I got back, hi gorgeous, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. 
This is such an amazing and well-deserved milestone. We are beyond thrilled to have you as a partner and representative of our brand. Um, then they were like, tell me where they were. And then they said, we can up your pay to $1,500 a month. That's great.